Hi Rubies, today I am going to make toilet roll stamp flowers. So what a better time to make these stamps than springtime. Um, what you are going to need for this project is some paint. You're going to need some toilet rolls. You're going to need some paint brushes, paper, and some scissors. And I'm just using like a, a card piece of cardboard to put the paint on. Okay, so Ruby's the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start by cutting the toilet roll. Now, I'm going to use toilet rolls, but you can also use the paper towel rolls. You can just cut it in half so you have a smaller one like this. Okay, Ruby, so now I'm going to start cutting and I'm only going to cut about halfway. Okay, so the flower is not too big. And for this one, I'm just going to start by cutting straight lines to make just um, straight petals and I'm going to make sure they're, that they're kind of the same length all the way around. should look like this and then rubies what I'm going to do next is I am going to put my hand in the middle and I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the toilet roll and I'm going to fold the straps out and it should look something like this So when we stamp and you put it like this, it's all around. Okay, okay Rubies, it's okay if it's not perfect, but it should look something like this. Okay, Rubies, so I'm going to use the second toilet roll and I'm going to make a different pattern for this one. For this one, I'm just going to kind of cut triangles all the way around and same thing i'm just going to stop around maybe halfway Okay, then rubies and then so I'm just going to start folding the petals down this outward like this your petals don't have to be perfect rubies so when I stamp there it will stamp like this on the paper okay okay ruby so now we're gonna go in with the paint you guys can choose whatever color you want to use i for this project am going to use orange purple yellow and maybe red okay so i'm just using this cardboard to put the paint on and i'm just gonna put some paint there and I'm gonna do red and maybe some purple. And maybe some yellow. And then rubies for the second part, I am going to grab um, my toilet roll and then I'm just gonna grab a brush and I'm gonna grab some paint and I'm just going to brush it on each petal. All 
also rubies when you're painting the petals make sure you guys put a lot of paint on it so when you stamp it on your piece of paper or construction paper the flower will come out completely It looks something like this and now rubies I'm gonna go over to the paper and stamp it on the paper now I'm gonna go over each petal with my finger and I'm going to press it down gently just so that the petals stamp on the paper And then your stem should come out like this. And then you can even go in with um, another brush and then do the middle part of the flower and just draw a little. See, like that. Now, rubies, I'm going to go over to my other toilet roll paper, and I am going to do purple for this one. Now, rubies, remember, you guys can choose whichever color you would like. I chose purple for this flower. And remember, rubies, make sure to put a lot of paint on each petal. So when the flower stamps on your paper, it leaves the mark completely. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go ahead and stamp the flower. And remember, rubies, I am putting my finger down on every petal so the flower stamps perfectly. And then friends, as you can see, I'm going back to the other flower and I'm going to go ahead and put more paint on it to stamp another one. I'm using red paint still, but if you guys want to use a different color, you guys can go ahead and put it on top of that. And don't be afraid of mixing colors. You guys can choose whatever color you guys want. Okay, rubies, now I'm going to take off some of the purple paint that um, this flower stamp still has. And now I'm going to go in with the orange paint. And remember, rubies, make sure it has a lot of paint so it stamps fully on your paper. And here you see me um, putting my finger down gently on each petal so the paint stays on the paper. And then I'm going to go in with the yellow paint and just paint the middle of the flower. And there you have it. This is what my artwork looks like. Don't forget to take a picture of yours and send it to us so we post it on our gallery.